Hello, I'm here today with Ansley Malone, and she's going to give us the lowdown on the uh, new edition of the Enteral Nutrition Hand Handbook. So what brought a need for the second edition of this publication? Well, you know, the first edition was published in 2010, which has been quite some time ago, and there was really a need to bring the latest evidence, the latest uh, practice guidelines, and all of the new information that has been made available since that time. So really clearly we needed an update. That, oh, that absolutely makes sense. Now what's new in this new second edition? There has been, actually it's, it's a much bigger edition than the first edition. There has been a significant amount of pediatric content added. There was pediatric in the original, in the first edition, but um, each chapter now has dedicated pediatric focus. There's also been a new chapter added on enteral uh, labeling and dispensing. And there's also been an expansion of the formula chapters. There are now two formula chapters, one for adults and one for pediatrics. And the pediatrics chapter includes infant formulas. So there's been just a lot of additional content added to this edition. That sounds like some very necessary things that we needed in our current uh, environment. Who is the audience for this book? Well, I, I consider clinicians to be one of the main audiences for this book um, because we need uh, current evidence-based practice recommendations and content for our practice with regards to enteral nutrition. But I also feel that educators would really be a good audience for this group um, to provide the most current uh, data, or excuse me, current um, practice and evidence for their students in their, tr in their teachings. And that's, that's very critical because oftentimes we are entertained with educating these folks yes. out there in the field. Why is it different than any other similar book on the U.S. market? Well, when you think about it, in my experience, there are not many specific enteral nutrition books all related or dedicated to enteral nutrition, and this really has it all. So some of Aspen's other resources and other resources out there have enteral nutrition content, but not the breadth and the depth that is available in this book. So it really is focused only on enteral nutrition with a lot of detailed information. And in, in addition, like you said before, the pediatric information right. and the evidence-based information, right. which right. is critical for us. How specifically will this book help with patient care? Well, the latest um, practice recommendations that are evidence-based are in there, as well as a lot of the, all of the NFIT information. And so really it will guide, it will be such a great guide to practitioners to deliver safe and effective um, patient care. And having it in an electronic version, having it available on the patient units, I mean, I know for me it will be great to have it available on, the, on our um, computer system so that I can have access to it. If I have a specific question or I'm, I'm dealing with a specific problem and I know I can perhaps find the information in, the, in this book, then that would be great to have that available on, you know, at the unit, in the unit. It's, it's, it's small and, and concise, but that's really an added bonus to have for this. Mm -hmm. um, how can this book be used um, in healthcare clinical education? I know you touched on it a little bit, but any well, further I've, comments? Well, I foresee this being useful for um, students and trainees at all level within their educational um, process. So undergraduate students of all disciplines um, at the undergraduate level to build that, to begin that initial knowledge foundation and then using all of the information as, as um, students move through their educational track. So I think it covers all aspects of education. In looking at it, it is really well put together in, in that kind of orderly fashion. So that it, it really was great how you all put that together. Um, how does the new enteral nutrition delivery system with NFET, is that right, mm -hmm. correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, um, help drive the need for such a publication? Well, we really needed um, a publication that had all the latest information, including what has already been made available through other means, but then having some of the uh, scientific information and evidence that's been conducted and having that all in this one document will really help institutions that are, have started their conversion or have actually not started their conversion to this NFIT delivery system. I think it'll be really helpful for those facilities. It, it's, it's a very intriguing book. Please look at it, the copies downstairs in the bookstore uh, for, uh, or on Aspen online. And it is very a very lovely um, volume to have. And thank you again, Ansley. You're welcome. You're welcome.